Flexo has made huge gains over the past few years. The print quality coming off a wide web Flexo press is now so precise that brands can switch from sheet fed litho printing to Flexo. In certain circumstances, the brand can save money by doing so. This advance in print quality comes from advances in several parts of the Flexo process, most notably plates and vibration dampening in the press itself. In order to explain Flexo plates, it helps to think about a rubber stamp. Both have a raised image, but the similarity stops there. Here's a Flexo plate in the flat before it gets mounted around its cylinder and its cylinder mounted into the press. Just like with that rubber stamp, the image area is the raised part of the plate and the non-image area is the recessed part. Ink is applied to the image areas by an interlox roller and then the ink is transferred to the paperboard as it passes through the press. That paperboard is also called the web. The plate technology stands out most in halftones, images such as photographs that are printed with dots. Here you can see dots on the plate and dots on the paperboard after it was printed. Each one of those dots is a small photopolymer mountain standing alone with space between it and the next one. The area of the top of the mountain is the area of the dot. The top of the mountain is the dot. That area is described by its percentage of 100% solid. We can print a 3% dot with a diameter of approximately one and a half thousandths of an inch. That plate technology that I was referring to becomes more obvious when we consider that a one and a half thousandths piece of photopolymer stands upright when it gets compressed by the analogs and impression rollers. The dot retains its combination of flexibility and strength so that it can force ink into the paperboard's microscopic voids. Another key technology in flexo printing is the robustness of the press itself. Here at Zumbiel, we're obsessed with eliminating the press's vibrations. Vibration is the enemy of consistent printing. Consider that flexo presses are made of steel, and steel does not absorb vibration. Also consider that the press has hundreds of rollers and cylinders turning at over 700 RPMs. Here at Zumbiel, we've made great strides at mitigating the press's vibration. The flexo presses here at Zumbiel use water-based inks. The ink is pumped to the analox roller. At first glance, this analox appears to be smooth, but if you take a close look, you can see that it is made up of individual cells recessed down into the cylinder. This analox has 640,000 individual cells per square inch. It is visible only with a microscope, and its volume is measured in billion cubic microns. The ink pump forces ink into these cells. The cell resembles an upside down pyramid that serves as a cup to hold a very small amount of ink. Each cell is cut to a precise depth and pattern. Deeper and wider cells transfer more ink than shallow small cells. We measure the ink's viscosity to make sure that the process works consistently. If it is too thick, it will not release properly, and if it is too thin, drying and color will be adversely affected. Just like litho, Flexo prints one color at a time. That is, each print unit or print station prints a single color. Flexo is a dry trap process, meaning that after the liquid ink is printed on the sheet, the web passes through a dryer so that the ink is cured by the time it reaches the next print station. Thanks for watching and check back soon for a deeper dive into litho printing. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions or comments about anything you've seen so far.